Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to installment number two of my Upgrade Summer series, 2013. Today we have the second, we'll box up that down, the second installment to my Mac Pro that I'll be doing this summer. Give you a hint, it's relatively simple, and if you can guess what it is before I open the box, you're very good with computer sciences because this is the easiest thing to upgrade on a computer. So what's a uh, well on a Mac Pro? Besides the hard drives, this is the uh, other easiest thing to do, <laughs> and things I need to do since I only have four of us. Yes, four. Falling behind in the times. Now standards eight. If you can guess it, it is RAM. I have a total of four gigs of RAM. Four one gigabyte sticks. I am now going to be upgrading this with eight more. So I will have a total of twelve. Filling all my RAM slots, and if I get this box open, uh, hopefully doubling the performance of my machine. I will be doing a Geekbench of this to see if there's a speed increase on that, although I do not know if Geekbench handles memory in any way, shape, or form. And I will compare it to the last one I did. Come on. Come on, baby. Ah, there we go. It's very interesting packaging by whoever the company that did this. But anyway, here. Here's the box. Let's uh, slip this open. This is going to be cool. I can't wait to see how fast video the video renders when I render this. There we go. Very tightly packed. Okay. This is the company I bought it for. I bought these 8 gig sticks, which on ODBC go for about 124 bucks for 50 Very nice. This is a company called Fetcher, which is on eBay. I bought everything so far off eBay. Some simple guidance to installing your Mac Pro memory. It comes with a nice instruction book. Isn't that nice? Tells me everything I need to do. Uh, there's also instructions on the Apple website if you need further instruction. Videos on YouTube. I will be. You can watch this video for instructions. Send you a nice uh, appreciate for buying thing. And here are the sticks of RAM. Four sticks. Oh God. <laughs> Nicely packaged. Keeping these boxes. I mean, darn. Four sticks. One, two, three, four, of two gigabyte RAM, fully buffered. Let's get opening. This is pretty cray, pretty darn cray. They uh, package this stuff really well. Each one of these memory modules appear to come in their own um, anti-static bag, keeping this stuff or if I ever replace memory sticks and take some out, because now I have every single memory card, every slot on my memory card is full. So, there we go. I will at some point need to replace those with higher RAM chips if I want to. So here we go with this. This is going to take a lot of time. So here we are. Memory sticks. It's got the uh, fully buffered heat sinks. Nice heavy duty. They feel really solid compared to the old, the original Mac Pro stuff. This is this is. Wait a minute. Oh, whoops. <laughs> that was stupid of me. I tried removing the sticker, but then I read the label and it said void. So. I shouldn't do that. Uh, so there are four of these sticks. They're all two gigabytes. They're really heavy compared to the um, one gigabyte sticks I have currently in my Mac Pro. Let's now cut this open. I'm going to cut through this, but I'm going to keep the camera rolling so I don't have to stop and restart because that, that's a pain in the butt. Again, I do stress this if you're watching this and you know the answer. I am not doing, I do not know if Geekbench has measures RAM. But find out. 
If not, I'll cut it out, and if you don't see any Geekbench numbers, then you know it was... does not help at all. Anyway, there they are. Ooh, sticky. There's the four modules. Four modules, very nice. Very heavy, very solid. Good plastic. Next, you will either see a, beach mar a, a benchmark of these memory modules before and then after, or you will see just me installing it because Geekbench didn't change. So anyway, thank you guys. Be back. Here we are. Geekbench score came out. So let's see what we got. We got a 6,191, which is A-OK. -okay. I've seen from other Mac products, newer, better scores. It uh, looks pretty good. This is uh, what we got here, operating system, BIOS, all this good stuff. It's um, looks pretty good. Sure, floating point memory, so it does it does have a memory performance, and that should go up. Stream and with integers, I think that's processor. Still processors are pretty good. Floating point performance, very good. Uh, let's see. Yeah, it looks like uh, the memory is a part of this, so it will be factored in, and it will go up, hopefully. Here are all the little tests. You can take a look at this. Pause the video. Memory performance. This is what I want to say. Read sequential, write sequential. Oh, stuff I don't understand. Well, anyway, there's the score we got for it. Uh, let's see if we can get better than 2,294 on this. Next roundabout. Be back with the installation. All right, here we go. We have Mac Pro sitting on the floor over there. I'm about to bring it up here, and we'll get a nice close-up shot. Hopefully the camera angle works for you. Um... I'm looking into purchasing an actual camera right now. I'm using my laptop webcam and my leg cam, my monitor webcam that I use to shoot all of my FaceTime stuff, all the stuff that you see, unboxings are all shot on here. Anything that is installed into the Mac Pro, I have to use a different computer, obviously, because I can't have this turned on when I'm putting things in. So I use my Mac Air, which has a very good camera. I would prefer having a camera and tripod to keep things professional. Unfortunately, I do not have the cash to pay for something like that. You might be saying, well, you spent 60 bucks on a on RAM, <laughs> memory, RAM, and graphic card. The reason to do that and not save up for the, the video, you know, the, the, the actual camera is because I prefer having my computer run faster than having a good camera, so priority takes first, the faster computer. I realize it's a mistake, and next time... I purchased something. It'll be an unboxing, hopefully, of a nice JVC camcorder I've been looking into. But this is the uh, the Mac Pro at the moment. So let's get this BC thing up on. Oh my gosh! <laughs> what did I do? Nothing. Okay, good. It's I've weighed it. It's about 60 pounds now. Ooh, it's moving things on my desk. It's a beast. Uh, it's almost completely fully loaded. A new graphics card. Two graphics cards. Three drives. Uh, it's almost completely loaded. So let's get the uh, almost completely loaded Mac Pro out. Also, one thing I'm trying to do is get the up resale value up on this, so in case I do have to sell it, it'll look very pleasing on the market because 12 gigs of RAM, I don't know if you know, looks really good on an eBay ad. Uh, also, the graphics card's nice. <laughs> so what we have here is the three drives. They're all um, Seagate except for the one I installed in my previous video. Which is the one terabyte Western Digital Blue, using the 500 gigabyte Seagate, and piece of resistance, the lightest weight drive in this thing, but yet the biggest capacity drive, the one terabyte Seagate. Um, Western Digital, sorry. Inside here we have the upgraded graphics card and the old 7300 GT NVIDIA card that came with this thing. Talking really fast because I want to make this one video. Uh, inside here, pull this out giving you a full tour since this is probably going to be one of the last upgrades I do on this thing. Two optical drives. Very nice for when you're installing multiple things at once, which helped me when I was doing my setup videos. Please watch. They're all on my channel. I up did an entire series of upgrades on this thing. Uh, setup videos, show you how to set up one of these things to get it fully running. Those videos are on my channel. Do check out. Also, something about channel news I'd like to mention. I'll take a moment of my time, sit next to it, and make my nice pose. Looking good in the camera. I am working on a website for the channel. I will be uh, uploading this video hopefully before 
or after I put the channel up, but I'm going to have a video explaining the channel, the website, the channel's website, everything that's on there. I just want to hear your feedback about what you guys think about having a website for the channel. It'd be pretty cool. I have a web domain that I'm not using at the moment, so put it to use. So anyway, <laughs> Mac Pro upgrade for RAM. Now, what you want to do is, there's two riser cards. These plug into the motherboard using a very large bus. As you can see that. The yellow here is the bus. This connects right into the, the motherboard. And these, this is the um, one gigabyte units that came with it. So there's like f there's four gigs in there. So there's four one gigabyte units, and they all connect into this card, and then they go through the the bus into the the motherboard, which makes sure that makes it so that there's less chance of the motherboard breaking since there's only two slots instead of eight. So that means there's a lot less chance of that breaking. And if something does break, more than likely you're putting, because you're putting more wear and tear on this card. So if this, if some, if the memory unit breaks because you've been pulling memory in and out too much and it just, you know, normal wear and tear damage, you would replace the card, which is a lot cheaper than replacing the whole motherboard. Apple genius. So here we go. We're going to take all the RAM off and I'm going to reorganize this into the uh, first galactic empire. So these things are hot as hell. Oof. Funny story. The other day, put this stuff over here. I was uh, using my Mac Pro. It was a nice hot summer day. Move this off. My iPhone 4 cases, which I used to use as a bedding for my iPhone. <laughs> uh, it was around say 76 degrees outside. My memory modules having a problem. My computer kept crashing. I've never had my Mac Pro crash, but it was just freezing up and I just had to force, force crash it. It's like, what's going on? So I went into system activity monitor to see if there was any crazy activity going on, CPU usage, flying through the roof because the fans were spinning like crazy. And I was thinking to myself, you know what? Because I saw that and the CPU usage was at zero. It wasn't even being used at all. I was literally sitting there in standstill. And then I went into my Mac Pro. I downloaded this app called Temperature Monitor which is very useful, and I wanted to see if it maybe it was one of my CPU cores were being jacked up, but yet it wasn't shown. And one of my memory modules was at 83 degrees Celsius. It was this one right here. Yeah, this tray I'm holding right now was at 83 degrees Celsius. <laughs> memory failure, that's what it was. So I had to turn the whole thing down, unplug everything, open it up, and then I was like feeling around the hard drives burning hot. The graphics card was literally spitting fire. The old GT was, I'm afraid, was melting. But luckily, it all worked out in the end. Alright, so let's get back to the upgrade. If you can see, I have all the memory sticks up here. So when you're upgrading Mac Pro memory, the first thing you want to do is look at the case lid, which I'll get right now, which has the instructions on how to install. This is why I didn't bother reading that stuff they included. Now here's the procedure you want to take when installing memory, and this is very useful. Uh, you see that there's focus. Okay, this is a lot better. You see here's the Mac Pro. You open it up, take out the cards, and then you put the RAM in this order and this order only, or else your RAM will not be used by the computer. You want to put it in the top riser card, two, a pair, one pair, two chips on the top riser card. Then the next time you upgrade, you want to put the next two underneath. Next time you upgrade, you want to put it in the next two on the top, next two on the bottom, and so on and so forth until you have all the riser cards.